kind of hard to tell here, but the yard was sloped heavily towards the front of the home as well as the side. There was an existing French drain on the outside. The gutters had been tied in in, in, in an attempt to take water along the side of the home. And we had to get everything in that little crawl space door there that you're about to see. Um, there's what we had to work with to start with. An existing sump pump, uh, lots of mud, standing water. <clears throat> Right here is where I decided to put the basin for the new sump pump that we were installing. That was about a quarter of the hole that I had to dig. Man, that was tough. Um, Clint showed up. There he is digging, uh, starting on the trench, going along the front side of the home. There's where I was doing the turn in the corner right there at the front. <clears throat> More of the turn. I had to dig, dig that very deep, leading to the basin. There's just a shot of the trench. <laughs> There was us getting the gravel into the sled and taking it into the crawl space and letting you know we're number one. <clears throat> I'm gonna film this real fast. <sighs> so I remember the original sump pump was positioned right here. <sighs> Worked hard yesterday. Digging this this hole for this basin. Let's scoot over here. That goes up. The trench goes on up through there. I'll be going all the way down into here. I want to get a shot of the trench before we put everything back in it. Man, that was a big hole. So check this out, Russ. Go up. Also got this one right here. Told you about just like, just like in the diagram that I had sent you telling you what we were going to do. Uh, this will be this is going down this damn it. Going down this front wall. Uh, there's that piece of shit Clint. <laughs> <laughs> and this is going all the way down we're getting so we're starting to lay the fabric now so that fabric will be down in this first then that pipe as you can see on there is going to go on it and that goes all the way down down to there just like we talked about just wanted you to see that so we say clint huh? <laughs> All right, just finish back filling the gravel, Russ. <sighs> Go back over here to the start. This is the side wall here, that's where it begins. You know, that's the same wall that your cross space entry door is on. Turn this corner. See, that goes down in. You can see where that drain line from here is coming in. That's the fabric that everything's wrapped in. This pipe actually has the nylon threading around it. It doesn't right here because I pushed it through and it pulled it back. Put this fabric around all of that. Put the gravel on top of that, wrap the fabric on top, and then backfill it over the top of that with fabric. There's your second line coming in there. And that line goes all the way down through here. There's that 90 degree cut left to beside that pier there that we did. Connects it to the main one. We leveled that dirt back out for you. Uh, Clint and I did. Go around this pier here. We leveled the dirt back all the way, Russ. For you. You'll see right here to the right. Uh, uh, Clint's back there getting the dehumidifier right now that you ask for us to remove. Notice we level that dirt the entire way, all the way back to the beginning right there. There you go, man. We're about to go to lunch, and then uh, when I come back from lunch, we'll work on getting everything plugged in for you. Thank you. Russ, hey man, Tanner here, just finishing up. Going to give you a uh, quick video tour from the start of this French drain all the way over to the outside plumbing. Let me get the camera flipped around here and I'll 
take you through it. Starting here, just like before. You can see kind of the starting points about right here. Going down that angle here from the front porch entry. We got the dirt all nice and level. <clears throat> and this is all kind of flowing downhill towards you know that end of the house which is not really going to be so much in the sump pump luckily however all the problematic areas seem to be over here in this upcoming corner as you were pretty much already aware of and I'm just going to keep making my way there <clears throat> Here about 20, got about uh, 2,500 pounds of rock, drain rock in here. I want you to take note of something. The bottom level of this block on this foundation here, that's where it was holding water. There was three places water kept seeping out the whole time I was working. One of them was right there. So I took my mortar drill and I drilled that all the way across there for you. And that goes, of course, right into the drain. The second area that kept constant flow. If I get down here real close, you might still be able to see the flow. Not sure if you can see that water or not there, but anyway, that water is coming out of there. I drilled that all the way across, going into the drain as well. That is all taken over into here, into your sump pump. I hate to take that lid back off. I had to cut it to get it to fit. But uh, your sump pump's down in there. I think I've already showed you a little bit of that. That comes up into your check valve here so water can only come up this way. I wasn't flipping you a bird. I'm just trying to show you. And that goes up, elbows towards, uh, you know, that vent, which I'll take you there in a minute. Keep following the drain here. It turns the corner just as I showed you it was going to in the diagram. And I stopped it right here where the water flow stopped. Now... Let me squeeze under this here uh, and let you so you can see that two inch line that's going over that right there and that's going all the way uh, you can always see where tanner's been gluing because i ain't shy on the glue baby uh, see that coupling goes all the way down i had to, i had to run it over the top of all these ducks I've got this thing secured about every eight feet as well with the metal hangers here. Uh, gotta go underneath this main duck line here. Uh, uh, right over here. You can see it coming over head there over top of all that. There's another support. Goes over 90 degrees down. 90 degrees down right there. Goes right out underneath that vent that you requested. Ah, went ahead and put a, a liquid nail all the way around my cuts even though I used a circular saw you see I cut that perfect so that goes out there and go back at your cross piece here and if we'd have had a little bit more mulch you wouldn't even see it at all, Russ. Got it coming out right there at the bottom of that vent in between the AC unit and the fence, just as you requested. Be behind them bushes. I've got it coming all the way to, to right here. You can actually see where it's already kicked on because I tested it before I got out of there. And all you gotta do, get you a little bit of mulch right here. Run over the top of that. Check it out. You won't see a thing, dude. Once that mulch is over that, you won't see a thing. And the final thing I need to show you is I installed a monitor system under here. I just did it recently. The only thing you're really concerned about are those top two numbers. that And that bottom moisture percentage. You see right now it says 47. That's inside the center of your crawl space. You always want that moisture number up top right there below 50%. If that reaches above 50%, you have a problem. And it is creating more problems. So pay attention to that second number that you're seeing right there and make sure it stays below 50%. If it gets above 50%, call me. You need your encapsulation. Thank you for letting us do the work. I really appreciate you.